We have all heard the saying that health is better than wealth. But what happens when your health is directly related to your wealth? In somewhere like the south side of Dublin, you have one GP to approximately 1,200 people. You have one GP to about 4,000 people in a deprivation in an area in North Dublin. The most important thing is to really see what eating healthy can do for you, because you are what you eat. Elements such as nutrition, physical activity and education have led to real differences in health outcomes. Unfortunately, when children arrive in school, that fairly quickly you can predict who's going to succeed and who's going to fail. Every parent needs support, regardless of background, regardless of their own experience. Do you know, where they all say that's the one job you get no training for, and yet the most important one. Studies by agencies across the world have shown the direct results of these inequalities. So the problem is, again, it comes down to the fact that people die earlier in these places, up to 15 years earlier. This programme looks at the root causes of these issues. There was evidence within this community that the children, when they were starting school, they were scoring below average in terms of their cognitive skills, their language skills and their physical health and well-being as well. Over the course of a year, we followed three community projects that strive to address this. Tracy spoke about in the last visit, Daniel's diet changing. So, how are things? So we have a core group of 40, started walking last January and a year later we're still all here. The nutrition class runs for six weeks and it involves teaching about your health and then doing a cookery class as well each week. 